That's quite some sparkles and even some sparkling sound. And buddy, we can all see that the Microsoft Flight Simulator is quite realistic. Everything's fine. Graphics are beautiful. But something that the Microsoft Flight Simulator is as well is quite... PC. Hmm. Perhaps because it doesn't want to get involved in trouble with airlines and also airplane manufacturers. In Microsoft Flight Simulator, you don't have any crash model whatsoever. You know, nothing really visualized. Not even engine fire. Not a single bird strike. <gasps> nor any door falling out. Things that happen all the time in real life. It's quite a bland simulator, if you ask me. Luckily, there are, you know, add-ons like this one here, the South Oak Co. developers who, you know, made their real effects add-ons a few months ago. I mean, I made a video about them. Got, oh, we've got fire in both engines. Although we are already in the air and we can actually see that fire. Something quite revolutionary in the flight simulator. You know, the 747, you can practically blow up engines now in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. It worked relatively well. We know having some cool visual effects of an abnormal flight situation. And everybody, they recently came up with a new real effects add-on type, and that's the real effects plus, which is supposed to do a little bit more. Everybody, let's take off with our A320. But let me do a very big mistake. That is, um, for example, wrong planning of weight and balance. For example, let's be overweigh the tail of the aircraft. Yes, everybody, let's take off. Once again, maybe put out some flaps or not. And perhaps mix our problematic weight calculations with a problematic V rotate speed calculation. No, I wanted to induce a tail strike, idiot. Yes, could you see that? That was, everybody, some sparks of aluminum. You could just see that scraping on the runway. That was actually the animation I didn't expect to be that bad. <laughs> I thought it was better, but everybody, yes, we can finally, for the first time, actually, in the flight simulator, simulate planes, you know, touching down on the runway with parts that they're not supposed to. Obviously, we're talking about a tail strike, a wingtip strike, and an engine to self strike, all of which are simulated in the new Real Effects Plus versions, which is interesting. Now, the planes, the three planes that we have here, that can do all these, like a tail strike, aren't even that long. I mean, we also have the A300, but this one is definitely, but this one is definitely not a small airplane, but it's a not necessarily long. In fact, it's quite hard to get a, you know, tail strike on this guy. I mean, because it's relatively short. It also doesn't have any tail strike protection down there. You know, the tail strike shoe that you could see on longer airplanes, like the 7378, or perhaps even the A321, all of which are kind of designed even to tail strike. All right, so let me try to do this here on the A300. Again, an airplane that isn't very much protected well against tail strikes. Look at that. Come on, come on. Nope, just that didn't work. Come on. Come on. Don't act up now. Just scrape that tail. All right, come on. Let's do this. Just like the airliners. Uh, that they test, you know. Obviously, it... there you go. Oh, we could see some. Did you see that? That was the ever so slightly a little scrapey dapey. You can't really see tail strikes in real life either. It's just kind of that paint that chips, kind of that aluminum that chips off, you know? See this Adam for the first time tries to show us that? Oh, that was a nacelle strike. Did you see that? Something that can very easily happen too. Come on, let's take a close look. Let's, let's take a really close look. Oh, I think I can even hear something. Not good. Everybody, very interesting. We've just, um... Very much scrape this airplane off. I mean, it is true, tail strikes in real life aren't really, you know, that crazy. Obviously, you don't really see an airplane fall apart. Obviously, it's far more interesting to see, for example, you know, engine fire. Right now, that engine fire doesn't appear to work here. Hmm, interesting. I'll set fire up. Doesn't work. Hmm. But something else that gets very hot is brakes on landing. And that's also simulated, which I found really, really cool. I mean, right now, our airplane is already struggling with the brake temp saying, all right, we need to turn on the brake fan, which is right here. No, that's the odd. That's not, that's the, that's not the right one. But at least we should leave the landing gear down so that it cools down. You can see that quite often when airplanes just come fresh out of departure. Perhaps they had stopped earlier and you need to cool down the landing gear before putting it into the body. You don't also want to have an insanely hot landing gear with hot brakes inside of the fuselage that could light up hydraulic liquid on fire. Whatever, just go... Today is quite a weird day, isn't it? What the hell is going on? Everybody, I would...
would like to see a fireball of landing gear. But it's time to land really, really quickly without any flaps at all. We're quite heavy, but that's fine. Our landing gear, our brakes will be able to do this. Again, our engines are technically still on fire, even though it doesn't show that. By the way, this add-on that we're talking about today costs eight euros on the Microsoft Flight Simulator store. And it's kind of cool. They do quite a few effects. Come on, stop. Or, first of all, land. Come on. Yeah. Like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now we are stopping. We are only using the wheel brakes. It says here temperatures are high already. They shall become more high. Uh, I have no idea what's going on now. We are in the grass. I bit confusing. All right. And so what, what now? For some reason, uh, we lost steering. And my issue is our landing gear isn't even on fire. Hmm. Maybe this is all broken after all. Everybody, we are landing now at Gibraltar Airport down here. We're on our A320 that also has real effect. We can prove that now by adding uh, engine fire. Oh, fire. Oh, fire in the left engine. There we go. That works just as it should. Now, to even add to that recipe, we're going to induce a wing strike. Something that happens. We've talked about that before. You know, 737's crashing on the ground. That can happen, especially when you're looking at a lot of crosswind. There we go. I've just done a lot of crosswind, and you can see that's quite a bit of a crosswind. See if we can land that anyway. I'm staying in an outside view just so we can see the real effects. Am I right? We don't care just about the engines blowing up. We also want to see that wing strike for the first time. All right. <laughs> oh, yes, it's time. Come on, hit the wing. Yes. That's quite some sparkles and even some sparkling sound. Barking. We've crashed into a fence. Okay. I mean, it's a f the visuals are there. I mean, come on. That's all I wanted to see. Obviously, we don't have the actual, you know, aerodynamic effects of what is it like to hit the tail, which on this A320, hmm, probably due to the placing of the shoe, wouldn't be that bad. But if you were to be on an old 747, you might encounter long-term effects on the fuselage. After all, we're looking at a plane that's pressurized from the inside, which can be compared to a, a balloon that's blown up. And you don't want a slightly damaged balloon because that could um, lead to Japan Air. What's he doing? Uh, oh yeah, that's, that's good. I mean, the effects work without any issues. Something that definitely wouldn't be very big of a problem would be a wing strike. We've seen that happen before on like a 737 Max. And you could even see a bit of an engine strike right there. This would have a few consequences. We've seen them before, for example, at Madeira Airport. Hard landing on the engine itself. That's assertively common. And what happens then is sometimes like a compressor stall or an engine failure, complete engine failure, because it, it's hit to the ground. That could happen. But everybody, this engine is doing very well. It's after all just very visual. Although it's a visual that was missing and it's now added. I think I really like this add-on. To me, once again, have a bit of a test. I would really like to perhaps, uh, you know, utilize our brakes that we have on this wonderful aircraft. Come on. Yes, we are. We are. We have got plenty of speed. 300 knots. All right. Come on. Let's test the brakes, really. There you go. 250 knots. It's time to stop. It is really time to stop. You can do a little, little A320. Brakes are gonna be really hot after this, by the way. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, okay, okay, okay. That must be the hottest brakes in the universe, am I right? Whoa, look at that, they're on fire! I'm kidding, they're just, uh, they're not on fire at all. It's, uh, it's not showing any effect. Overall, I think this add-on is quite nice. Obviously, these are like the smallest, minute details that you have to really actively look for. Here we are flying through a storm because I'm seeking to get this effect here, this St. Elmo's fire, which is a windscreen static, which is practically a sign to tell, oh, well, we've been hit by lightning. Come on, come on, hit us, lightning. Please, Zeus. Why is only one landing here down that makes no sense come on give us a lightning strike overall all the features are cool i've also talked about the engine intake vortexes that we could see uh, was, was that the st elmo's fire i couldn't tell well that's life so everybody thank you guys so so much for watching this tail struck video and i'll see you guys tomorrow as always good night and a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.